Hey Pastry Puffs, welcome back to Strudel Reviews, it's your girl Strudel, and today we are going to be reviewing, finally, the other part of the second installment of the BFF series, as y'all know, like, back in, like, what, early mid-December, I had reviewed Moonlight BB, and y'all know I've had Sunshine Girl since, like, a couple of days before Christmas. Because my friend who had sent me, sh like, who had given me Cheryl as my birthday present, who, like, y'all know, I, like, immediately reviewed Cheryl, had sent me Sunshine Girl my way because, like, I had phoned in a favor told my friend like I had a diff I had a really difficult time trying to find her for shipping in my area that wouldn't have taken like one to two months via Amazon and so my friend had, uh, pulled off the ultimate card had it Ordered it online, sh had it shipped to them, and then they shipped it out to me. So, very grateful for that. I love that. Also, I literally just hit 1.5k viewers some point today. I don't know. Because, like, when I checked it this morning, I was still at, like, 1.4. And I checked it, like, a little after I'd gotten home from work. And I was like, oh, shoot. So I appreciate that. Thank you, guys. And with that, let's get into Sunshine Girl. As you can tell, we're gonna, like, immediately start off with the eyebrows. And you can tell she's just got the normal OMG eyebrow. But this really pretty soft bubblegum pink, which... I might actually add to my repertoire. Well, add to my repertoire slash wardrobe because it's a really pretty shade of bubblegum pink. And you can tell she's got, like, a matching eyeshadow to go with the bubblegum pink eyebrows. She's got a darker pink lip that would be, like, a slightly, like, that's not exactly bubblegum pink, but it's, like, a darker pink. It's kind of in between bubblegum pink and hot pink. She's got this really pretty bluish purple eye, which, yes ma'ams, we stand. And then we're gonna come down here to her choker, which I'm trying to see if I can find Spicy Babe. But she has a hot pink choker with a silver heart being in the opening, and then it's got two silver little buttons on either side. And she has this, um, what you could call, like, either, what you would call this fleece little over jacket. Which, this is a really nice fleece material. And then she's got an actual, like, metal zipper that is that same, kind of that same lightish blue. And then she's got, like, an actual metal silver zipper here. And then again on the other side, and you can tell she's got, like, detailed pockets on both sides. Because usually fleece coats do have pockets for men and women. And then she's got the, and then this right here is her undershirt. Which is, like, a lace collar. And it's got actual silver buttons, and it's, like... A pastel rainbow theme going on with like mint colors, bubblegum pink colors. I want to say like pale purples, maybe lavenders. And then like a pastel yellow. And then to go down to her jeans, she's got this clear, clear and pink seat belt belt. Which, you know. I miss the days. And then the um, clear plastic is holographic. A little iridescent. And then you can tell for her jeans, she's got these uh, 
bl like light blue denim with white stripes and they stop and they cut off at like ankle and you can tell like these are how my je how the jeans for my doll came is the cuffs were uneven but that's all right and she's got like this little thing on the side that I'm not really sure what it's for but I think it's supposed to give it the detailing that it's supposed to go down on the side and then she's got like cutouts at the hips and then you can see her little undershorts because you you're not supposed to take those off they're a part of the outfit and then it's got the same designs as the crop top and then there's no pockets on the back, which is all right, I guess. And then, like, you know, the white pinstripes. And then these roller skates are the same exact mold as a roller chicks, but they are in a pastel yellow with white. And then they got the mint green, the bubblegum pink, and the either pastel blue or lavender stripes and then on the back it's got that home motif going on is like the pastel rainbow the skate the wheels of the skates themselves are the bubblegum pink and then the stoppers are a lavender color which I had already previously checked they did give me a left shoe and a right shoe Unlike with uh, Moonlight BB, I'm still a little very disappointed that they gave me only <laughs> two left shoes, which is sad. And then we're going to go up to her hair. You can see she comes with like these two little actual scrunchies. And then underneath, she's got like a mint green. A pastel pink, a pastel yellow, and a lavender colored uh, plastic butterfly clips, which are so cute. And then she's got these two little top buns in her hair. And then she's got like one strand going over the side, like a front bang. And it is long and purple, and it stops like right at the cutoff of her jeans. And then the back of the hair, you can tell, is fully, like, crimped, and it goes down to her feet. Like, wow. Wow, 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 wow. And uh, she's got articulation in the head, the shoulder, the elbow, the wrist, the hip, and the knee. And then her doll stand is this really pretty bubblegum pink color, which I find adorable. I like her a lot. I'm very happy I have her because when I heard that Dusk and Dawn were getting sisters, who are the little gremlins' names, by the way, I was ecstatic. Because I actually liked those two little gremlins in the original ones. Like, her sister was a cold water color change, and she had gotten, like, almost all dark blue hair. And she had, like, darker gothic, edgier clothing. <laughs> well, the, um, the opposite dusk had a warm water color change, and she turned completely blonde. And then her clothes would be, like, more pastel, like, her little top would be like a pastel and then the leggings I think would have been white but whatever oh uh by the way y'all can see I have finally got vault queen I'll show you she vault queen came in the new packet the, the new window packaging that trendsetter and skate park QT are supposed to come in and that these three in the swim line did. You can check their reviews on YouTube. And I finally, my Snowlicious came. She looks beautiful, by the way. And we have uh, Back the Sunshine Girl. Because we want Sunshine Girl to be the thumbnail. 
<laughs> and uh, the funny thing is, Vault Queen, Snowlicious, Goldie Twist, Cherry BB, and Gracie Skates all showed up on the same day. I was at my local drugstore, well, my local Walgreens, because y'all know I got a few of my dolls there, like DeBoss and uh, Fancy Girl, technically. Well, Fancy Girl came from there, too, but I knew about her because I sent my friend to go get her as a Christmas gift. Um, and they had, like, three Hoops Cuties, so I kind of picked up Hoops Cutie and brought her home. So she's added to the pile of reviews. <laughs> and I think... My next review is either going to be Starlet, Lady Diva, or Fancy Girl. Because I need a stand for Snowlicious, and I'm just going to get, like, a white pearly stand, because that's what she comes with originally. And I need her hat and her belt to, like, make her look, well, at least her hat. At least her hat would be fine. The maker, like, complete to my taste. So I'll just have to keep looking for that. <laughs> oh, and also... Y'all know I don't usually upload on Wednesday nights. I'm not... Starting tomorrow, for, like, the next couple of months, I'm not going to be uploading Fridays either, because it's going to be Drag Race Night. Season 14. I'm rooting for Cornbread the Snack Jete already. Mama, her entrance line was iconic. Mwah, chef's kiss. Loved it. Also, Carrie Colby. Oh, Carrie Colby ate with her entrance. Oh, Carrie Colby. Oh, she's probably my second pick. And then Willow Pill. I lived for Willow Pill's entrance line because mama. She literally gave me Y2K aesthetic. She looked very much like a brat stall. She also looked like very Ashley Tisdale, very Paris Hilton at the time. I live. Oh, I live. And the fact that Miss Willow was smart enough to take the approach of like, Maybe we were going to have another, like, lip sync smackdown like they had in season 13. <laughs> she was smart enough to dress comfortably. And yes, Miss Ma'am, we stand. I um, think that's really all I have to talk about. And uh, I'll try to save Vault Queen's box intact but I'm probably gonna cut out the box art and y'all y'all can find pictures of it yourself so with that I'll see y'all in the next one bye